Okay, so what's up? So, I know you're probably looking at the suit and everything, you're thinking, what is going on? All the previous videos you've been looking borderline, you know, disheveled and hairs all over the place, looking like a mess, and what's with this clean cut look? So, today I was called in just to do some like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, emergency response to the like COVID pandemic in New South Wales. So, had to get all, you know, suited and booted and, you know, that's why I look really good today. So, thanks for asking. And what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's something that kind of like cropped up in my mind because I was watching a couple of videos or saw a couple of videos online kind of talking about like fame and money and stuff like that. And I thought, money, 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 money. And I thought I'd just like kind of share my thoughts on it. And like, what, what, what is, what do people want about it? Like, why are people so kind of enraptured about it? Everyone wants it. Well, you know, most people really want it. And is it worth it? And like what, yeah, like is it worth it? Like, it, like once you finally attain it, do you actually get what you thought you were going to, you know, get when you got it? Or when, when you first started like kind of seeking it? So fame and money, what, in shorthand, I think it is not worth it. So when we look at the psychology or when you think about the psychology of what people are after when they're kind of chasing fame and money, not necessarily following their passion, but like they're looking for you know, other people to confirm their identity through, you know, praise, applause, you know, applaud and stuff like that, or likes on Facebook or, well, Facebook isn't really a thing much anymore, but like on, you know, Instagram and all those different social media sites, they're looking for those likes and those, you know, they're really craving that attention. And the other aspect is like the money side of things, which is, I think that what they're lacking is a sense of security and they see money as this like mechanism to kind of keep them safe and away from threats. It's almost like a really basic survival instinct. It's like, give me all the resources I can so I don't need to, you know, worry about when the winter gets tough. But the reality is, you know, we don't live in these harsh winters or, you know, back in the day, yeah, like back in the day that might have like, ser like served us that mentality of like hoard as much as you can because when dire times come, you know, you, you, might, like, you might survive. Otherwise, you know, if you don't, you're probably gonna die. And I think that's a little bit not relevant anymore. And unfortunately our brains haven't gotten to the point where it, it can kind of understand it because we're still carrying like tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years of like lived experience of our like, you know, great ancestors who were relying on that to survive. But now that we're in, you know, a concrete jungle, our threats to our safety, you know, in a lot of the modern world is pretty, you know, nilch, you know, the most thing you ever kind of really get is nowadays is what, like maybe getting hit by a bus still happens, but you know, it's very unlikely, especially if you look both ways. But I think that's the underlying mechanism that's going on with like kind of fame and money. I think it's that, that joint kind of aspect of you're looking for security. You're looking for a, a, either a security in your identity or security in your circumstances. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because, you know, or, or you can't live completely, um, what should we call it, you know, without money or without, you know, anyone sort of a, like approval. Well, I think the only person's true approval that really matters is yourself and then, you know, your trusted peers. But hey, you know, let's not get too far with that, right? And when it comes to money, like, oh, I, th I can't remember the exact study and like, I'm not going to find it. Like, I'm sure you can search it up yourself, but it was something along the lines of like, once you hit, I think $60,000 US, like if you earn that much a year, pretty much earning any more money above that doesn't actually add to your happiness. It, it kind of like flat, like flattens out because it's that law of like diminishing returns. It's like, if you have no money, you're looking for money because you have nothing coming in. So you have no like real kind of financial security. But then once you kind of got 70,000 US coming in a year, it's like, you kind of have enough finances, enough money flowing into, you know, your kind of whole, you know, state of being that, you know, you're not going to have debt collectors coming after you. You'll be able to buy some things, maybe go on a vacation every once in a while. You kind of have maxed out that point. And then unfortunately what a few people do is they kind of push it to the upper limit. They kind of see that as I need more, more, more. And so it's just like, you ask some people and they're like, are you happy in your life? And you, they're like, you know what? Every day above ground is, you know, a, a victory. And then you ask some other people, usually high-flying executives or, you know, people along that kind of like really grinding mindset, 
are like, oh no, I'm not happy. Like I'll be happy once I make $2 million or once I make 10 or then once I make 50. And then, and the same thing with likes and like on social media, it's like, oh, I'll be happy when a thousand people like my you know post or I'll be happy when 10,000 people like my post. And you might be thinking, well, Jordan, you're doing these videos yourself and you're doing these like blogs and you know, you're trying to get, uh, you know, like you know vision and sights on that from different people what's the go like aren't you doing the same thing there not really because to be honest I don't really care if no one watches my content or no one listens to my content I'm not phased by that and my sense of self-worth and my own personal security as a you know you know valuing myself isn't affected by that I'm like if people like the content and people you know enjoy it I'm just like great that's an added bonus but the sheer fact I'm even doing anything is what kind of gets me going and it's just like that's what excites me and I think when it comes to that whole fame and uh, money kind of thing it doesn't th there's kind of this misconception I think there where people say oh it changes you like oh money changes you or fame you know fame did something to that person it changed them they weren't like that I don't think that's necessarily true. There might be like, you know, the odd fringe case where that is, but I think for a general pattern rule, it's not. I think what money and fame al allows you to do is essentially, it's kind of like a magnifier. It magnifies your personality. So if you're kind of a really selfish individual or whatever, and you kind of get more fame or money, it's going to kind of confirm those beliefs that you have in your kind of mind. Because beliefs are just thoughts that you kind of hold on to. They're just ones that you keep, like, you know, recur a lot and just hold on to and believe. So if you th if this is working, then you believe that, you're going to keep doing it. And then the problem is it can only go higher. Like, the lowest you can get is zero dollars. Or, well, actually, sorry, you can owe people money. So I guess you're going to have minus, which is even worse. But there's no upper cap, you know what I mean? It just keeps going. Like... Once you hit the 10 million mark of either money or, you know, likes or subscribers or whatever, it, you'll hit that point and then go, oh, well, I need 20 million. And it's never satisfying. It's satisfying for a fleeting moment. And then you're kind of left with this nagging feeling of, oh, uh, I need, oh, and that's just a gross feeling. And I don't think you should want that. And sh I don't think you should try and live for that because it's just going to tear your mind apart over time because it doesn't matter what point you reach, you're never good enough. And the reality is you already are good enough. It's just, you got to believe in yourself in that kind of capacity. So it doesn't matter about how, many, how much money or how many likes you get or whatever. It's just like, you're already worth something. Like you shouldn't have a little number on a balance on an account determine your sense of self-worth. And I think that's what should really be a take home message for yourself is like, if you think money is going to solve your problems or if you and it's going to provide you that security or if you think people a lot of people liking you on Facebook or Instagram is going to be, you know, the thing that changes your life. I doubt it. You know, if anything, the problems are going to just going to get bigger and if you don't grow, you know, spiritually and like inward as well, not just your like material possessions, if you don't grow inwardly, you kind of become corrupt and that's when you can kind of see, you know, people like you know, certain industries like the gun industry or the weapons manufacturing industry or the, the oil and gas kind of you know conglomerates doing really kind of shady shit and in their mind they're doing great like in their mind they think they're doing good because they're like i'm getting more i'm i'm producing more money for the shareholders you know that's more money more 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 but in turn one they either start you know with the weapons manufacturers and stuff like that you know they pretty much are the merchants of death and then when you come to the oil and fossil fuel types, you've got, the, you know, pretty much destroying the planet. It's just like, yeah, it hasn't happened yet, but, you know, we're working well and truly on our way to get there. So it can kind of get you, I think that's what fame and money can kind of sometimes do is like, it gets you to think, think certain things are okay because you're not viewing the wider impact of your actions. So it kind of tunnel visions you down. It kind of just gets you looking at just this one metric, how much money or how many likes and everything else kind of just falls into the background, if at all, you know, just kind of goes and isn't yet no longer relevant. So I think what you should do, and you might think, oh, well, you know, if I do follow my passion and I do, 
you know, whatever it may be, like might be music or writing or, you know, maybe you just really love you know, whatever job you do, you know, and you're like, oh, but what if that translates into money and fame and stuff like that? I think you shouldn't be too worried. I think yeah, as long as you're working on your like inner spirituality and like your inner being and constantly trying to develop your internal like ecosystem in that way, I think it will just be a side effect, you know what I mean? And it will just, like I said, it will magnify your personality. So if you've already worked on yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to use that money or you're going to use that fame to kind of look for things and look for ways and avenues that you can you know, bring joy and just bring goodness into the world because I mean you just have to turn on the news to see that there's a lot of bad things going on in the world and you know those are happening but you know it doesn't take a whole lot from you know a few people just to make a huge difference it's just you kind of got to follow through and so yeah I think that's kind of my thoughts for now on the kind of topic of fame and money is don't covet it if it happens you employ it for something good you know, use those, re- like, if you do fall into those resources and, you know, because the money and, you know, uh, followerships it are resources in a way, use that and deploy it for something good, you know, do something worthwhile. Don't just kind of think about me, 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 because, you know, you can do that, but you're going to be very lonely and that's going to suck. So, you know, change your life, change your mentality, win at life.